Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rock Bottom Airsoft. It's good to see you again. If it's your first time here, then as always, it is good to see you and I hope you're going to stick around. Okay, well, welcome to our weekend video. Well, today, we'll get straight into it. What we're going to have a look at today, well, today, as you probably know from the thumbnail as always, <laughs> we're, we're having a look at another affordable electric drum magazine. Now, this one is by Neuprol. It's for my G36 replica, and it's what we call a C-Mag. So we'll have a look at it in a minute, and you can see what that looks like. Um, this magazine, I call it affordable for an electric drum magazine because of the price point. Um, they do this particular magazine for a number of different replicas. Uh, you can get them for the G36, obviously, which I've got here. Uh, you can also get the C-Mag design by Neupro. Um you can get them for the M4 or, or AR based replicas, you can get them for AK based replicas, you can also get them for MP5 based replicas. Now the pricing, here in the UK, you're looking at about 40 British pounds for the um, M4 or AR variant uh, replica magazine, all the way up to around about 52 British pounds for the MP5 based variant. The uh, the, sound, the the pricing as well can vary whether you get the sound controlled version or the non sound controlled version, which we'll we'll mention a bit more in a minute when we we take this out of the box. Um, if you're over in the United States, if you want to have viewers there, um, the pricings work out at around about forty eight dollars to around about sixty four dollars US. I did struggle to find a US supplier of this particular magazine, so if any of you guys in the US are looking for one and one of you knows where to get one, maybe let us know in the comments and then I'd appreciate that obviously. Anybody viewing who wants one would appreciate the help as well. So I'm sorry I couldn't find a link, but I will put a link in the description for those viewers over here in Europe or in the UK and where you can get hold of one of these and indeed where I got mine from. So first impressions. Obviously, for the, the version I've got, as you can probably see from the, the sticker on the front, is the sound control version. This one was around about 48 British pounds, I believe. Um, and then obviously postage and carrier services on top of that. That, on the whole, it is more on the affordable end of box magazines. Any of you guys that run LMGs or anything like that will know that you can pay a lot of money for box magazines and uh, drum magazines. Um, so anything that's high capacity, you can pay quite a lot of money for. And I would say that £48 is, is definitely at the more affordable end of the market. Now, when I received this, uh, the first thing that I found was that the box, yeah, the packaging's pretty poor in it, guys. I, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. It's a plain cardboard box which has had a, a new pro sticker stuck on the front and then somebody's ticked what type of magazine it is. It basically tells you it's a G36 mag, it's black and it is sound control, um, if you can make that out on camera. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> There's nothing else on there. It's just a plain cardboard box. To me, it looks like from the OEM, uh, whoever manufactures it, they just ship them out to New Prol and they bang a sticker on it. Don't know who the OEM is for this particular magazine, guys. So if anybody knows better than me on that one, again, let me know in the comments who, who you think is the OEM for this particular device. Uh, let's have a look in the box and see what you get. So it's just a tab on the end, as I say. Packaging-wise, very basic. Open it up. Oh. Now, I have to confess, guys, I haven't used this in the field yet, obviously. Um, as you can probably tell with it being brand new. Right, so we've got that, that, and that. Nothing else, guys. Box is empty, nothing in there. So we can get rid of that. So it looks like this is our battery housing. Again, affordable magazine, but that looks very cheap. The plastic is brittle. I mean, I, you might be saying, what more do you expect for a battery compartment? But the soldering, while adequate, doesn't look the best. Looks very brittle. And then you've got your single connector on there for powering it up. I believe that this uh, magazine runs on four AAA batteries, guys. So you are going to need four AAAs to power it. You could probably power it with a, a small Nimh or even maybe a, a small lithium battery. 
Um, but that's something I'll look into when I've tried it in the field with the basic setup that you get. So you get that. We also appear to have a little baggie in here. Um, that includes a small hex key or Allen wrench. I'm sure that will become apparent shortly. And then in some basic bubble wrap, you have the C-Mag itself. That's why I call it C-Mag, because it's a double drum, if you like. A bit like the MG36 in the firearm world would be equipped with. And that is our uh, our drum magazine, guys. That's what you're, you're basically paying for. Let's get rid of some of this packaging. Okay. Now, the first thing I will notice that I'm not happy about is there is absolutely no instructions in here, guys. No instructions at all. Nothing to tell you how to use this magazine. Indeed, nothing to tell you how to put your battery pack in. Um, now, <laughs> thankfully, I have an idea of how you put the battery pack in, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, but that, to me, is a pretty poor showing. Any product that doesn't come with any kind of instructions is just assuming that you're going to know how to use it. And let's be honest, guys, in this instance, this isn't a product that you're just going to know how to put that battery in. It isn't very clear looking at it on exactly where you would put the battery. So that to me is poor already. Now the next thing that I notice as well guys is that there is absolutely no hex or allen screws on this chassis or magazine anywhere. So, so far I have no idea what that Allen key is included for, guys. There is nothing in here to uh, to undo with an Allen key. They are all Phillips head screws. So again, not quite sure what you're probably thinking on that one. Why, why have we got an Allen key in there and we haven't got a single Allen headed screw? That might become apparent. Again, if there were some instructions, that might give me an idea of why that's in there. You know what I mean, guys? Um, so again, pretty poor that there's no instructions. I'm not happy about that, really. Now, build-wise, just looking at it here, um, you could probably make out the fit and finish isn't the best, guys. It, it, it's, it, it's not what I would class as, as mega good quality polymers. The actual magazine, if you like, the feed section that would go in your magwell, um, that seems better quality plastic than the drum itself. I honestly can't see this taking a lot of abuse in the field. It's creaky and clicky. It, yeah, it doesn't seem well put together at all, guys. Um, however, you know, it might work better than it looks. And it certainly will look cool on the replica at a distance. But up close, to me, it is not oozing quality. <laughs> so... With that in mind, this is the sound activated version. Now there is a small switch if you can make that out on camera on the front. Again guys, I have an idea what that might do, but if you were new to the game, if this was your first drum magazine, how are you supposed to know what that switch does guys? There's no instructions to tell you what to do. I have checked online on New Pearl's website and they do not have any instructions for this magazine online either. So you're kind of snookered. The switch, has one position as far as I can tell. Nope, it has three positions, guys. So I'd imagine that one position will be permanently on and one will be sound activated. And what that means if you get the sound activated one is, is that every time you fire a shot, this, the, there, is, there is something on the circuit board on the PCB that will recognize that sound and cause the motor to turn. Tension in the magazine. So it does it automatically, guys. If you're ripping on full auto, it'll keep tension in the magazine until you run out of BBs or until you let go of the trigger. That is the idea. You can also get manual wind versions, very similar to the Battleaxe uh, AR-based drum mag we looked at, that has a button on the front. And with those, all you do is, is whenever you want to tension the magazine, instead of having to wind a big wheel like you would on a high cap, you press the button, and that'll tension the magazine. But in this case, this is a sound control one, so it has that switch on the front, um, and that enables you to, well, as I say, you've got three positions, so my guess is, from other magazines I've encountered, is that one position is fully on, so it just winds permanently, uh, and, and, and the other position will be for the sound control, so it'll only wind when you fire your replica. Now, 
other than that, um, th there isn't a whole lot of features on this, guys. <laughs> no markings, obviously. It is a full plastic build. Everything on here is is some form of polymer. As I say, it isn't the best quality polymer in the world, but it is a magazine. The fit and finish, as you can see, we've got a bit that's loose there. Never done anything with it, and it's already feeling like it's starting to fall apart a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what the versions of these will fit like in your particular replicas if you have the AR or AK or MP5 variant. However, it does fit absolutely fine in the SRC G36 that I'll be putting it in. I have test fitted it in the Magwell and it fits okay. When I'm at my home site for my next game, I do intend to give this a try out in the field so I can give you a follow-up review, guys, and tell you how well it does when it's getting battered about and in bad weather. Um, not ultra confident on it guys, but uh, we'll see. I might be proved wrong, it might do well. What I'll do just now is, um, I'll show you how to put your battery in, seeing as how New Pro didn't bother, um, and then you know how, at least how to put a battery in there. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what it looks like inside as well. So bear with me a second guys, I'll be back with a screwdriver. Okay guys, I'm not totally sure on the size of these screws, so we've got two screwdrivers here just so that we're uh, we're fully covered. Now what you need to do guys, as far as I am aware, if you want to change your battery on your new Prol C-Mag electric wine magazine, is it isn't a very easy process, which is another thing <laughs> that makes me complain about it a little bit. Um, no instructions, but you're going to need to take that screw out, that screw out, that screw out, and I believe that screw out as well. Now this is me guessing guys, but I think that is the only way you can do it because you need to get this back off here so we can plug in this. Again, no idea why they include this Allen key. No instructions, so I don't know and I haven't seen any Allen key screws on here yet. But as I say, we'll, uh, we'll remove these screws anyway and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's these two I'll start with first and we'll see what happens when I get them off. It's obviously started to move anyway. Now we'll remove this screw here because I'm assuming that's going to have to come off guys. Okay. Now again, if you're having to do this every time you change your batteries guys, that, uh, that to me is a little bit ludicrous. It's going to make it very hard work on the field. Um, certainly not the best if you're in bad weather or you haven't got a very good safe zone or you, you're getting geared up from the back of your car or something like that guys. Not ideal at all. So that's them screws removed. Um, I think we'll slide that out the way and then this back should lift off which it does and there you go guys you can get to the guts that is where you plug in your battery pack which is that plug there so you put your four triple a's in there and then plug that into there and then you have to put all that back in there um which to be fair guys you can see your pcb in there if you can make that out on camera you can also see the inner workings of the gearbox that controls the tensioning of the magazine. Now looking at it, it does look pretty neat in there guys, looks like it's a bit of grease. There are plastic gears in there, so at some point this is going to give up the ghost on you. <laughs> but hopefully not for a long time. Um, it all seems fairly well put together, I like what they've done with the wiring, they seem to have neatened that up a bit in there. Compared to other mags I've seen, you usually struggle getting these wires out the way. Um, your BBs are obviously going to be in this side for the looks of it. That's what's going to hold the majority of your BBs. This side is primarily just for uh, your motor and feeding and housing your battery. So there you go guys, that will plug into there, which will go in there. Um, you're going to have to be careful when you're putting that in guys. These wires are quite brittle, but easy enough to do. Just seems a bit over the top guys they could have made like a you know like an opening flap on the back of here or something like that um because once you've done that you've obviously got to get that back into position which which isn't uh, i'm going to confess here guys that isn't easy at all that that that, that, that isn't very easy 
<laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you've somehow got to get that back back on there. Um, yeah, they, they don't seem to have thought that out very well. Well, I think the easiest way to do it would be to take this bit off, guys. So that's another screw you've got to undo. So if you undo this screw here. So, as you can see, guys, just to, just to get at putting your battery in, and I don't know if you guys would know or be aware, but you, you don't want to leave batteries in a device because then you're running the risk of those batteries leaking, um, which, you know, obviously you don't want the batteries to leak in there because that's the end of your magazine. That pulls off, which leaves that uh, feeding tube in place there, guys. So, you know, I, basically I have had to dismantle this magazine, guys, just so I could put a battery in it, which to me, that's, that's not good, is it? It's a bit fiddly. So, as I say, guys, I, I may change my opinion on this when I use it in the field, which I will use it in the field, guys. I'll try it out. But at the moment, so far for our unboxing and a quick look at, it feels very cheaply made. The internals don't look too bad, but again, cheap. The plastics are cheap. It comes with no instructions. It comes with an Allen key when every screw that we've encountered so far on here, and they are screws, guys, they're not bolts. Every single one has been Phillips head, our posi drive. You get a battery pack, which has very brittle solder joints on it, guys. I can see them going down eventually. Um, yeah, and no instructions. So you're supposed to figure all that out for yourself. They'd, they'd assume you'd know you have to pretty much take the magazine apart to get a battery in it. <laughs> so that's my first impressions, guys. Um, it is affordable. It will look cool in the replica. Those are the good sides. I don't know how it functions yet. It may function phenomenally. And then if it does, all is forgiven. <laughs> but if it doesn't, then it just uh, confirms my fears that it's, it's a rather cheaply made thing. Um, but we will find out guys, but as I say so far the bad points as you've probably seen is what we've come across there So I think we'll leave it at that for today guys because I'll have to try this in the field before I can tell you more about it I really hope you enjoyed this video If you did enjoy it, then please drop a like on it. It helps me out If you've been enjoying my series of videos, then do get subscribed to the channel if you're not subscribed already And you won't miss any of my uploads And if you want any more content from me, uh, then you can find Rock Bottom Airsoft on Facebook and Instagram uh, There's pictures and things like that on there and, and little bits and bats about what I'm getting up to in Airsoft So again guys, really appreciate you watching Thanks very much and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one